This is the university's recycling wall. Um, this is a location for staff and students to recycle items that can't be recycled through the yellow topped recycling bin. Our recycling hub is something we have at uni for staff and students and we have quite a few of them throughout the uni but there's actually um, a lot of councils throughout Tasmania have them in their council office. So Hobart City Council, Launceston, Burnie, Georgetown, um, I think Break a Day Council might have one at St Helens too, but other people have them in their community. There's a really fantastic one down at Dover, it's a community one one, and one at Westbury at the primary school. It looks much like this, sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller, but you can put in all these funny items that can be recycled, it just they can't go in the yellow top bin. Now some other things we collect are batteries. It's really important to recycle batteries. Um, currently only about 5% of batteries within Australia get recycled and that's no good because they go to landfill and there's chemicals in them, there's materials in them that's wasted. It's just such a waste of resource. It's just not good. So we have a collection point for batteries and here you see we have little household batteries but we also can collect things like these ones out of your power tools and these big old ones out of old torches and things. Now, there's other places you can take batteries to as well. Um, I think it's um, supermarkets, you see them there. Um, the big supermarkets, little supermarkets. And it's really fantastic if you can get all the batteries you can from your household into one of these points for recycling. Another thing that we collect here at the uni um, is blister pack packaging from Edison's. These are really problematic because, as many people know, these are made from foil and hard plastic, both of which are individually recyclable, but they can't, because they're stuck together as a composite, they would then have to go to landfill. So by collecting them this in a special program, we send them off to get them recycled. As you can see, this is a very popular program. We have heaps. Often they fall out the door when I open them. Okay. Righto, now um, the skincare packaging collects a whole lot of mostly plastic but some glass packaging in here which are items that can't easily go into your recycling bin. Now plastic items that are this size are actually too small to go into your household recycling bin. So you may not know that your uh, yellow lidded bin at home um, items should be, uh, plastic items, should be larger than this, it's about, about that circle there, um, and they should be no bigger really than a plastic bucket that you have at home. So items should be from about this size uh, down to this kind of size. And that's because the material re recovery facility, or MRF, which is where the items in your yellow lidded bin go to be sorted, um, that's the size of that's the size items that they can manage. So by sending this particular one through to a special program, this item, which is solid chunky plastic, can get recycled. If you're in a community and you'd like to set one of these up yourself, at, um, after this, um, at the end of this session today, we're going to put up a link um, that you can download that information and set one up yourself. It doesn't have to be a big one like this. It could be just a couple of items that you would like to start with. One of the things I find with recycling as well is that people will probably want to recycle, be able to do everything at once. Start small, get something under control, get that working and then make it bigger. And also, if you set up one of these, make sure you have enough people to help you do it because it can get tiresome to do it all on your own sometimes. Thanks. <laughs>